the sins of the children that were born tomorrow and the one that was born years ago, Jesus carried all their sins in his own mind. And died on the cross of Calvary almost 2,000 years ago. He died for everyone. The blood that came out of his body and that blood that came out of Jesus washes away all our sin so that we can stand before God not being condemned. So that we cannot be condemned. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. So, so when Jesus came down from the mountain after praying, Jesus is always praying. He's praying how to reach man, how to bless man. So when he came out from the mountain, people rushed to him. All manner of needs. All manner of cares. Everybody wants Jesus. And even this man, a leprous man also. He did chase him away. You know, some pastors today, you only want rich people. But Jesus want people who don't want to even rich. I mean, who cannot even give him anything. So this man, the leprous man, came to Jesus. When he came to Jesus, he worshipped Jesus. The Bible said, Behold, there came a leper and worshipped him. Verse 2. Verse 2. Read it, man. He worshipped Jesus. And he said to Jesus, If you can, you can make me well. I want to be well. Jesus, you can make me well again. I don't want to remain like this. I want to walk with my feet. I want to go to the kitchen. I want to go to work. I want to do what I used to do. Jesus, if you can, you can make me well. Only this man worship Jesus. If you can worship Jesus, if you can start worshiping Jesus in your heart, from your heart, and do it with all your heart, and start worshiping Jesus, your story will change very soon. Everybody who knows you around this area will see the miracle of God in your life. Amen. This man came to Jesus and he worshipped him. He said, Lord, thank you. Jesus, I worship you. I praise you. He was worshipping. Then he, and as he was worshipping, he said, if you can, if you can, you can make me whole. This man knew Jesus has the power and that Jesus can make anyone whole again. <laughs> you are just a few minutes away from your miracle. If you can call on Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I was telling her later, was the time in my life I was tired of life. I wanted to kill myself. I was tired of life. Satan bombarded my life. Nothing can satisfy anymore. The things that I used to like, I didn't like it anymore. I was thinking, why live in there? If I fix all that stuff, it doesn't make me happy anymore. I was thinking, the best thing to do is to die. And as I was thinking to kill myself, I went to my father's room, I couldn't see the pistol. There. I couldn't see the gun. I break the door, search everywhere, I couldn't find it. 
They talk to they talk to me. Go to the kitchen. Pick up a knife. The butcher knife that have two very long. You can pierce yourself. Let it come out from the back. Bleed till you die. I thought that is the best thing to do. I went to the kitchen. I went to the kitchen. Some years ago, when I got there, there were all manner of cutlasses and knife in the kitchen. I picked one that was very sharp. Two edge was very sharp. <laughs> already in my mind, I was already gone. I took the nervous. I wanted to stop myself to death. Jesus came to the kitchen. This Jesus in the Bible was in the kitchen. He came right there in my village in Nigeria. I'm ever grateful for that very day. I'm ever grateful. If Jesus had not come right there, you won't know me. I won't be here. I won't be here. Jesus. He came in the kitchen. He was there. I saw him like the picture they showed us. He was very white with sand down. And he, he told me if you're killing yourself, you will go to hell. And I told him no. We can't least. We don't go to hell. When we die, we go to purgatory. After purgatory, after penance in purgatory, we'll go to heaven. <laughs> Jesus said you've been deceived. He said there yeah, is nothing like purgatory. There is only heaven. And there is only heaven and hell. And hell. And hell. Then he opened my eyes. And I saw I saw millions of people in hell. They were burning with flame. They were crying. Good people. But why do you Some of them were priests. Some of them were pastors. They were ill in hell. They were all crying. No water for them to cool their tears. And they were all calling my name. They said, Frank, please dip your hand on the water. To quench our thirst in hell. We are tormented here. And they are there forever. And they will never live there anymore. And I started crying. I said, Lord, if these good people can be here, there is no hope for me. And immediately I knew the only thing that will set me away from going there is to receive Jesus, to come into my heart, to live inside me. And immediately I said, Jesus, forgive me all my sins. I'm a sinner, forgive me. I invite him, I say, come into my heart and be my Lord. Please, Jesus. The Jesus that was there with me entered me like this. He entered in me. He entered me. And immediately, I had joy. I had peace. I started shouting, Hallelujah! I knew I was born again. And my eyes was open. I knew those things that used to control me before don't have power over me anymore. I was free. Spiritually, I was free. Mentally, I was free. Emotionally, I was free. All those body was gone. I knew my name was written in heaven immediately. And I didn't want to kill myself anymore. I love life. I feel like telling everybody all over the world about Jesus. I feel like going all over America, Russia, everywhere I go to just spread the story about Jesus. That is what brought me to South Africa. That is what is bringing me here. This man in the Bible, the leprous man, came to Jesus and worshipped him. And he said, Lord, if you will, 
How you can make me clean. I, I love what this man said. He said, Lord, if you will, you can make me whole again. That is powerful. Then Jesus answered him. Jesus put forth his hand, touch him, saying, I will be thou cleansed. And immediately, his leprosy was cleansed. The man was healed. He was restored. Hands grew up. The legs grew up. The sickness disappeared. You see, it's only Jesus who can. Doctors can. Do Doctors who can give us injections, give us medications. They can't even treat it. But only Jesus can do what Jesus can do. Only Jesus can do what no man can do. Only Jesus can do. What no witch doctor can do. Only Jesus can do. Only Jesus can do. What witches and wizards cannot do. Only Jesus can do. What Shangomas cannot do. Thank you, Lord. And the man was restored. And the man went everywhere <laughs> telling people about what Jesus has done for him. <laughs> that is my testimony too. <laughs> you are going to have a testimony. Amen. Big girl, God will give you a testimony. Amen. He will heal you. Amen. He will restore you. Amen. He will deliver you. Amen. Just welcome him. Him. This is not like going to church. This is personally asking Jesus to come and take these problems away. He came into my life and changed my life forever. 